writing a research paper, you'll need to cite sources. Here's how to cite sources APA style. In a research paper, when you refer to prior research or to ideas generated by others, you should cite your sources. There are two steps to do that, in-text citation and the references section. To add in-text citation, you should use the last name of the author or authors of the article and the publication date all within parentheses. Place that citation at the end of the relevant sentence or clause. For sources that have up to five authors, the first citation of that source should include all of their last names separated by commas and with an ampersand before the last author. If you cite that source again, you should only include the last name of the first author followed by an et al and the year. If the source has more than five authors, then every citation of that source, including the first, should only include the last name of the first author followed by et al. And if you want to cite several sources as a list, then you should cite them alphabetically by the last name of the first author and with semicolons in between. Finally, if you want to refer to a source directly in the text, such as Piaget and Duckworth, 1970, generally the same rules apply, except the year is in parentheses, and instead of ampersands, you spell out the word and. These rules cover the most common in-text citations. For more information, please refer to the APA Publication Manual and the links below. Now on to references. The references section should be after the discussion section and before any tables and figures. This should be called references. This section should contain a list of every source that you cited in your paper. That list should be ordered alphabetically by the last name of the first author of each source. Here's how a typical journal article reference should look. First, the authors are listed in order, with last names written out in full and only letters for the first and middle names. Next is the year in parentheses and then the title of the article. This is followed by the name of the journal in italics, the volume number, issue number, and the page numbers. Finally, include the digital object identifier number if it's available. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please comment below. For more information, check out our other videos and the UCSD Psychology website.